This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? It's The Ramble, and it's Alex Bennett, and uh, we're here, as we are each and every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, for The Ramble. It goes until midnight tonight. Uh, normally, we have an interview with somebody that uh, maybe you don't know. Now, this time, we have an interview with somebody you do know, and there is a reason for this interview, because... There have been some terrible things happening in Northern California. Um, uh, the last terrible thing to happen in Northern California was my radio show. But in this particular case, it's a fire. And there is the living, breathing, he's okay, he's out of the woods, Damien Chaplin. Hi, Damien. Hi, Alex. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. I, however, you, you're, 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 diff, you're kind of... You're off. You're out of sync, for some strange reason. Yeah. Well, let's just say that our internet is kind of barely functional, really? um, and so I may have to go to audio only, actually, you know, in order to conserve bandwidth here, because I'm going on. I'm going on cellular data right now. Yeah. Uh, in order to do this, because the house I'm staying at has no Wi-Fi. Uh huh. Oh boy. Well. Uh, so you. So you're using cellular is what you're using. Yes, my, my tablet has a SIM card built in, so yeah, I'm, my yeah. Thankfully, my my tablet still has internet access, and so does my phone. Yeah, but, uh, that's pretty much it around here. Well, let's. Uh, so, if people don't mind you being out of sync, which I'm sure they don't, they'd rather see you alive and, and breathing. Um, uh, in fact, why don't you just put up? Why don't you just put up? T- take off your uh, turn off your uh, camera. So, because then we don't have to deal with the lack of sync, and we'll probably get your picture. There we go. There we got his picture. Okay. So well, you you got a picture. A picture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's tell people what's been happening. Uh, Damien lives in Santa Rosa, California. He didn't used to live in Santa Rosa, California. He used to be where in Petaluma, right? Well, I used to be in Katati, Katati. and uh, we yeah. moved. We moved to Santa Rosa in January. Yeah, and that's because you took over running a uh, storage facility full time. Yes, right. yes, and uh, boy, has it been a ride. Yeah, well, and... you you didn't expect this. I mean, this is the last thing in the world. And what happened was, in the last day or so, well, t- what two days ago maybe the fires started. Yes, um, we were. I was. We were woken up at two a.m. on Sunday. Well, I guess on Monday morning, 2 a.m., because um, our lights went out. Yeah. And, you know, we li- we sleep with a sound machine. So it's immediately apparent when the power goes out because the sound machine turns off. Yeah. And uh, so I was immediately woken up, and there was just this incredible smell of um, um, soot and ash and smoke coming in through the windows. And we didn't know what was going on. And. Yeah, it was crazy. Now, we now we evacuated. Well, wait a minute. Let's say to begin with that you live at the storage facility or in an apartment at the storage facility, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm the on-site manager there. You're the on-site manager, so you have a nice little apartment there, which is great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and and in Sonoma County, that's like a twenty-four hundred dollar apartment. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it comes as part of the job that you have. And it's at the yes. storage unit. And the reason I say that is because uh, the other night I wrote you and I said, I hope you're okay. And you said the fire came within 500 feet of the storage facility. Yes, it did. It was, you, could have, you could see the flames, right? We were putting out the flames. Um, oh. Just just like two months ago, um, you know, where our facility is in a business park, yeah, and our facility is owned by some some owners, but the rest of the business park is owned by a different owner. And just like last month or two months ago, that business owner came in and laid down all new mulch in front of all of the businesses, and the mulch took the form of these little tiny pine wood chips, and. Uh, so basically, when the fire got to us, all of these pine chips caught on fire, like they were, you know, 
uh, part of a barbecue. And uh, so we had to run around and put out the, 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 the bark that was around our facility. Um, right across the street from our facility was Arby's and McDonald's, and they're completely burned down. Uh, Kitty Corner from us is a different um, is a different storage facility, security self storage on Hopper Avenue. They were completely destroyed. Um, all of their stuff went up in flames. Wow. And, yeah. So so you're in this this house while everything's burning around you, or this apartment while everything's burning around you. And I guess yeah. How did how did you get out of there? Did you decide that at some point we better get the hell out of here? Well, honestly, I was I was inclined to stay and mm -hmm. ride it out. And Nicole was like, we need to get the fuck out of here. She grabbed the cats and got in the car and left. And mm -hmm. I was like, no, I'm staying because uh, this is my facility. You know, I got to stay here and at least well, you're not a captain. And, you don't uh, have to go down with the ship. You know that, don't you? Well, no, but it wasn't it wasn't on fire yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, yet, but once um, it catches fire, that's a pretty fast thing, and we could have had crispy fried uh, Damien. You know. Right. True. And you know, well, she left with the cats, and she called me within thirty seconds and was like, "The entire neighborhood is on fire. I'm coming back. You are getting in the car, and we are leaving." Uh, and I said, "Okay," and so I did. We got in the car. We drove to Mom's house. And um, we stayed the night at mom's house. Um, uh, yeah, that was, it was totally crazy. Um, I didn't have anything really with me. <laughs> well, uh, now, um, now here, here's, here's, here's the interesting part about it. One of the only things in the area that didn't burn was the storage facility. Right. And the storage facility right next to us, right next door to us. The Kmart that was right next to both of us burned completely to the ground. You know, the storage facility that was kitty corner from us burned completely to the ground. That's that's like 600 people who are out of their stuff. Their stuff is gone. And, you know, I had people showing up at the facility yesterday at, desperately needed to get into the facility to get their stuff, and I could not let them in. And, yeah, the facility is closed until further notice. Yeah. The, the entire area is evacuated, mandatory evacuation. Um, even though there's no danger any longer, right. but um, well, I it's uh, still you know I moved my stuff into your facility what uh, several months ago, and uh, I could have yep. I could have lost my entire history. You know. Yes. I mean, and yes. and through no fault of yours, obviously. Uh, you know, um, I I don't think if you said another storage facility burned to the ground then it is very easy to assume that storage facilities are not built in a way that's immune to fire. Are you there, Damien? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, say that again? I said, yeah, yeah, say that again? Yeah, I said because another storage facility burned to the ground, we're to assume that storage facilities are not immune from fire. They're not built to be fireproof. No, in fact, my facility is made out of uh, cinder blocks um, covered with stucco, but on the inside, it's entirely wood. Yeah, but uh, the flames would have to get through the cinder blocks, right? Well, no, they would just travel up the hallways, up the stairwells. I see, okay. You know, right. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, this is, you know. So you, you must have been, uh, how calm were you in all of this? How calm? Yeah, because you I, know, found, honestly, I found I was pretty. I found that when I, I was pretty calm because it. Go ahead. You know what I, what I was going to say is when I did when I had the earthquake, okay, which I I wrote you and said in some ways I feel for you because it's a similar kind of situation in which you are literally thrown out of your house. You know you can't go back. They won't let you go back. And it was about three days before I could go back. I was sleeping with women who I had known in various parts of the Bay Area. <laughs> while the uh, city of San Francisco decided who could go back to their apartment and who couldn't. And, and uh, you know, that's a very scary kind of proposition. Uh, and yeah. I, um, uh, uh, so I, I really felt for you because I knew what you were going through. But what I found was I am usually a very panicky person. I mean, given a situation like that, my usual inclination would be to scream and tear my hair out, what little I have left, saying we're all gonna <laughs> we're all gonna die. 
And yet, in that situation, I was cute, uh, cool as a cucumber. It was my girlfriend who was panicked, and she was the one you would think I would have thought I would have put my money on being um, uh, cool, calm, and collected. But for some reason, I just you know, oh hey, it's going to be okay. We'll we we're going to survive. And we're driving out of the marina, and just as we're driving out, there's another earthquake, right? And instead of keeping yeah. on driving, I get out of the car to go see if I can help people. And I'm going, after I look yeah. back on it, I said, what happened to me? All of a sudden, in a time of real crisis like this, I wasn't panicked. Well, I was not either. And, you know, honestly, this whole, this surreal feeling um, falls over you where, you know, you, you become very disassociated and, you know, part of you is seeing this as not really entirely real. And so I was pretty cool. And also there's this idea that, you know, especially when a fire or an earthquake comes, you really have zero control over what's going on. You know, what's going to happen is going to happen. And the best you can do is just survive. And, so I was pretty calm. Nicole was 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 kind of freaking out, and you know, thankfully I was there to calm her down. But you know, I will say that I am actually on medication that <laughs> reduces my anxiety. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that may have actually helped in the situation. <laughs> it, it seems like it did. Uh, but what also gets me is your sense of duty of trying to stay there with the storage facility to protect it, which was let's face it, a human impossibility if the fire wanted to hit it. You know? No, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't that I thought that I could protect it. It was more that I wanted to be there to witness it. You know, yeah. and, and would, no matter what happened, I wanted to be able to say one way or another, yes, it survived, or no, we're fucked. You know, <laughs> I wanted to know whether my house was still going to be there when I got back. Wow. Um, so, yeah, but the reality is we evacuated at 2.30 in the morning, and I left my car there. I mean, I wasn't even thinking rationally to think to bring my car, to, to drive both cars to where we were going. You know, I just left my car there, and just I woke up the next morning and was like, oh, well, I hope it's still there. <laughs> did, did it turn out that it was still there? Yes. Yes, thank God, because I'm, I'm still, I because still all, have all 10 all months I... of payments on it. <laughs> <laughs> You got to realize that here in, uh, in in New York, we get the news, and all they're showing are burned out cars, you know, and burned out yeah. homes. And they showed the McDonald's, you know, they love to show the burned out McDonald's, you know. Uh, oh yeah, no, and that and there were burned out cars literally right around the corner from us. I mean, the the it was fate, fate. The 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 wind was blowing so hard; it was like fifty to sixty mile an hour winds that night. And the fire was literally leaping from one roof to another, and it was skipping over certain things. And we got skipped over. Um, it, it, it jumped from that McDonald's that you just mentioned right over the Coles department store to the storage facility that I mentioned earlier. And the Coles is still standing, but McDonald's is burned to the ground. And the storage facility, all those people have lost their stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I feel sorry for those people, but I, I you know, because I, I know how I would feel if I had lost all my stuff. But, you know, yeah, uh, that was my second thought. My first thought was, is Damien OK? You know, I didn't even think about my stuff until after you said, then don't worry, all your stuff's OK. You know, I mean, uh, nothing. The place didn't burn down. But I mean, what a what a well, it's funny, you know, you hear about national news occurring in yeah. a town that you're familiar with, even oh, oh, your by, hometown. By the way, let, me, you know, say, let like, me say something. While I'm talking to Damien, nobody call me because they can call this line. Nobody call me because I, I just want to kind of get all the stuff out of him. Anyway, what were you? go ahead with what you were saying. Well, you know, I was going to say, you know, sometimes your hometown makes national news because of one thing or another. But, yeah. you know, usually it's like there's a murder in your town or something like that. Yeah. And, yeah. and it doesn't actually affect you. And this time it's like, you know, all of you people who are hearing news about Santa Rosa on the national radio, guess what? That actually did affect me. <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 it's kind of weird. A absolutely. Well, sometimes, you know, people will always like if something goes on in New York or whatever, they'll write me and go, 
uh, were you in that were caught in that problem? You know, like you know, across town something blew up or whatever. And I, and I have to say, no. You know, New York's a big place, and the chances of me getting right. in, is zero. So uh, when I when I wrote you, I thought of the same thing that I'm asking you. Hey, are you okay in Santa Rosa? And you're probably sitting there going, Yeah, there's a um, uh, there's a um, um, you know. Um, uh, it's across town. It's not affecting us. But no, you wrote back and said we had to run. You know, we had to get out of there. And uh, yeah. I, I immediately started really feeling for you because I know that feeling of being, especially the displacement you feel, because you don't know when you can go back, right? No, the entire area is mandatory evacuation, and we tried to go back today because we we came up here last night to spend the night at Nic Nicole's mother's house, which yeah. is up here in Cloverdale. She has power. She yeah. doesn't have internet, but she has power, yeah. which is more than what we have. Yeah. And um, so we came up here, we went back down this morning. I was intending on opening the facility because a lot of people are just gonna need to get their stuff because their house burned to the ground and their only remaining belongings are in my facility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the police wouldn't let us in and we drove around for about 45 minutes trying this street or that street or this street and that street and every street was blocked off to get home and finally um, we pulled over on the side of the highway and Nicole was in virtual hysterics you know talked to the CHP guy thanks and he wasn't really helping us at all but thankfully this other CHP pulled up right at that moment and he was like, I will escort you guys over because we had pulled over on the off ramp. Well, did you say you left the a cat you left a cat back there? No. You, you yes, said we left the cat we left the cats there. Oh well Lord. well we what would happen is we had we had evacuated to my mom's house for that night. Mm -hmm. And then we went back. We went back the next morning and because we felt safe. Everything was, you know, yeah. nothing was on fire. So we left the cats there. And oh, we came boy. up here to Nicole's mom's house just for the night so that we could have a shower and things like that. We were intending on coming back this morning just to, you know, hang out at home and open the facility, let people get their stuff. And everything was blocked off. We couldn't get back in. And Nicole was able to sweet talk our way with the CHP guy who happened to be a cat person, pulled up and was like, you know, I'll escort you in and mm -hmm. our facility was literally visible from the freeway we pulled over on the off ramp and we were like you know we can see our facility right there just let us walk over there get our cats and walk back to our cars here and we won't be any more trouble and they weren't letting us do it but finally the this one CHP pulled up and he was like I'll escort you over there so he escorted us to the facility while we got our cats and he escorted us back onto the freeway, wow. and we came back up here to Cloverdale. So what is the uh, prognosis yeah. now for when you can get back in there? We don't know. We've been hearing some progress, some, some rumors that Friday they might lift the, the mandatory um, evacuation, in which case I might be able to go back there. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't really know, though. Yeah, wow. Wow, but yeah, because I, um, uh, you know, it, 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 even if you get back there, you, do you have, will you have electricity? Probably not. Will you no, have? No, but will you I have, mean, I've got camping, I've got camping equipment. I mean, I, I've yeah. survived many a time without electricity. But, I, but I, I don't. That's not a huge deal. You won't be able to do your internet show. That's for damn certain. You well, know. that's for damn certain. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know you were supposed to do something for me on. Uh, on fr a Saturday night, which I can do remotely with my iPad, it's no problem. Uh, but uh, well, the hopefully, I'm I'm really crossing my fingers that by Saturday I'm going to have internet again because man, by Saturday if I don't have internet, I'm going to be kind of going crazy. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but but you may not have all the lines may have been burned down where you are. They, no, that's very true. Yeah, you know, no, my so mom who lives in Rincon Valley, right across the, over the hill from us, she's not in an evacuation area, but she did lose her landline. And um, that's like unusual at this point she, that, you know, we keep this landline like it's gonna be our lifeline in case of emergency. And then her landline went down because the power lines went all burned up and the only phone she had left was her cell phone, the which only, of course she was down to like 20% power. The only positive thing here is that cable 
is run underground. So it might be able to get hooked up faster just simply because maybe, you know, because it was underground, nothing happened to the wires. But, you know, so right. far as electricity my, is concerned. My cable modem requires electricity. And, yeah. You know, and without electricity, I well, can't actually get any cable sig signal. Electricity is the next problem, you know. And how long will yeah. it be before you have electricity again? In other words, how yeah. long will it be before being there is livable? Well, you say you have camping equipment, but, uh, you know. Uh, and and that's romantic. I was talking to uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I was talking to Bubbles today, and I said that the best thing about the earthquake was what I called the rubble fuck. Uh, uh -huh. That whenever there's a disaster, uh, like the, the, like the earthquake in San Francisco, there was smoke in the air and sirens going and lights flashing, and we were running like dogs. And I asked somebody about it, and they said that in situations. Uh, where uh, people are in life and death situations, they have a tendency to have very, very good sex because they're. Well, yeah, it, I they, mean, it yeah. it brings everyone closer together. And more, more, no more. It has more to do with than that. It is your what can we call a primitive instinct to um, uh, perpetuate the species. While you still can. While you still can. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, but it, it's, it, it, you know, you're, you're, you're displaced. You're, where are you staying? You staying at your mother's place or what? We're staying at Nicole's mother's place up in Cloverdale where they have power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, the Cloverdale didn't get hit, right? No, it's about 30 minutes, 30 minutes north of, Clo of Santa Rosa. Did any of the major wineries get it at all? Yes, yeah, a few of them got hit. We don't really know the full assessment of all the wineries that got hit, but you can expect that a lot of them did. Wow. And and this was just a natural fire, right? It wasn't started by anybody by accident or anything else. We don't really know the cause of the fires. The fires all happened like simultaneously multiple areas in the area. So I'm going to... And also... From personal experience, I can say that static electricity is really, really high right now. You pet the cats and you get static electricity no matter what. Yeah. You know, so ionization is really high in the air. So I'm guessing lightning was what was what started. Well, this. you know, when they have forest fires, they have to decide which ones to put out and which ones not to put out because some of them are, are, are an act of nature right. meant to perpetuate nature. In other words... Uh, by a forest fire, it makes uh, seeds pop out of the acorns or whatever and fall to the ground and create new trees. Uh, so, but in this case, this is this is not that kind of fire. They couldn't sit there and say, "Well, let's let that house burn." It's an act of nature, you know. Well, honestly, you know, putting the humanity aside, this kind of fire is, in fact, part of the natural cycle. And it just is unfortunate that human beings happen to stand in the way happen to of get said in the fire. Way. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, this sort of thing, I, I hate to say it, but, you know, we had the Oakland Hills fires. We had all sorts of we've you know, the Bay Area has fires all the time. And the North Bay uh, was absolutely due for it. Yeah, you know. well, it's it's kind of like the earthquakes there and whatever. But, gee, this year has just been a horrid year for, for nature trying to get even with us, you know? And well, yeah, and, and um, I, I somebody pointed out on the radio that um, it is October, and yeah. October is disaster season for California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. This is this is when all of our fires hit. This is when all of our earthquakes hit. This is when everything hits is in October. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's 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 ah uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Well, listen, I'm so glad that you're okay and that you and Nicole are safe and that the cats are safe, and and then secondarily that my stuff is safe. <laughs> you know. Yes. No, uh, I'm very happy about that too. Believe me, I would not have wanted to break that news to you. Jeez, I you know I I, I spent all this time and this energy <laughs> moving your stuff out of he that was so facility nice to into move my me own out facility. Of the yeah, because it was going to be safer at my facility. <laughs> yeah, and and it turns out it was actually. Who knows what happened to the other facility? Well, P Petaluma <laughs> didn't catch fire, I guess. Uh, yeah, no kidding. But boy, I'm telling you, I, I, we should we should count our blessings and maybe maybe my facility yeah. is charmed. Yeah, 
Hey, listen, uh, 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 you know, anything we can do, there's nothing we can do. But, you know, if there's anything we can do, uh, let us know. And we'll hope that you're back in your place very soon and back on the air very soon. And in the meantime, uh, you know, stay safe. Okay? Me too. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Damien Chaplin, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he Reporting is, live from Santa Rosa, California, yeah. I'm Damien Chaplin yeah, on GabNet Live. Wait, Back turn, to you, Alex. Turn your camera on one more time just so they can see that you're safe, okay? Just turn it on. So there we can, go. Let's see here. There, camera, we, hi. There, there he is. He's fine. So say goodbye to everybody and, and tell them you're safe. Goodbye, everybody. Okay. I'm safe. Ladies and gentlemen, Damien Chaplin. Thank you, Damien. Good Talk luck. Later. Okay, t I'll keep in touch. Bye. <laughs> And uh, so that's uh, that's that. Okay. Wow. Now, now you guys can call. Okay. Um, I just didn't want you to call while I was talking with Damien, because uh, uh, I wanted to be able to, you know, get the full story from him. Uh, but our our number, if you want to call us, uh, we have a Skype number, and it's GabNet Live. It's our ID. That's uh, what you do, and you get in touch with us. Oh, let me turn on the light. Otherwise, girlfriend will. Let me have it. So you didn't turn the light on. And so the light is on, and we're now waiting for people to call and to comment on what you just heard. Uh, boy, we got we got some problems here with the uh, signal going out for the video. Uh, let me see here. Uh, here comes Phil Meyer. Okay, he's the first one online. Hello, Phil. How are you? All right. I'm I'm really yeah. glad to hear that Damien is okay and that uh, your stuff is okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, just an aside, do you have insurance on that space? No, I don't. Uh, you might be covered under your renter's insurance. I think, uh, there's a your... I think there's a certain amount of insurance that the facility has on it. Uh, you might want to find out. I yeah. think it couldn't cost you more than $50, $60 a year to insure that crap. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, might, it might not be the worst idea, but I guess it's, it, it, it's a time that has passed, actually, to tell you the damn truth. Uh, let yeah. me see here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, uh, we're having trouble with our signal going out on our video tonight. So you know. Uh, I, I got you on uh, Facebook uh, with yeah. Damien. I just turned it off. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. There but, we go. And it doesn't. Uh, it's not. We're not. We don't have. Uh, you know. You seem to attract disaster. Do uh, I when really? They, uh, Wait a minute. Oh. Are you there? there you yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, in Sausalito, when mm -hmm. they had the mudslides, mm -hmm. I got evacuated. You put me up. Uh, and uh, uh, during the earthquake, I know that your house only had, your apartment only had a crack in the living room thing you showed me. But uh, uh, I hadn't talked to you in a long time. And uh, I was helping a bunch of people because I had a big truck. And uh, I was uh, helping them get all their stuff out of their apartments if they were uh, red tag. Yeah. And they were knocked down the building. Right. Uh, so I, I pulled up with the truck, and I, uh, my ex-wife and I stopped by your place, and right. you were fine. Well, yeah. you know, I, I, uh, this, is not a, uh, this is not a tragedy for me, but I really feel for Damien because, you know. We're having trouble, by the way, with our video going out tonight on... Uh, on the show, so Do if you, uh, start something again, or? huh? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be playing here. I don't know. Maybe it's playing elsewhere, but it's uh, not, huh? I'll, I'll look and yeah. Uh, um, yeah. But uh, and I don't know what the problem is. To tell you the damn truth, but uh, uh, you know uh, what? What have you? Yeah, I will. Uh, well. You know, I will. It's uh, boy, it, it was using a lot of CPU here. I don't understand that. Oh well. Anyway, you know, I, I uh, the the thing I can see it. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't make any noise. Yeah. Is the video on where you are? Yes. The video is working where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so I'm I'm looking at the Facebook thing. Here, I'm yeah. Turn it around. There you go. Uh, and it is moving f f smoothly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. I guess maybe it's just. Oh, now it looks okay. Yeah. It looks. It uh, looks better. Okay. Fine. All right. Uh, because we're using incredible amount of CPU here, and I don't know why. So. 
and my stomach is killing me tonight. I may have to go to the bathroom, and you guys may have to take over the show. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's it, it, I really feel for for Damien because I, I've been through that kind of situation on, on yeah. a couple of occasions, but more. Uh, the earthquake than anything. I mean, the thing you and I went through was just, you know, it was a mudslide. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three days, uh, you know, just uh, hanging out. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. you know, uh, uh, but I, uh, you know, I feel sorry for him, and I'm glad that we were able to talk with him tonight so everybody can know he's safe and that he's okay. Because a lot of people may not have even occurred to them. Hey, Damien lives up in Santa Rosa. Did it occur to you at all, Phil, when you heard about? Oh, her? absolutely. I, I wrote I wrote uh, something on his Facebook. To, you know, he said I hope he was okay. And yeah, uh, a lot of people did. Uh, you know, uh, the funny thing is, I just spoke with a friend of mine this tonight, uh, and he lives in uh, Southern California, uh, in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that the Orange County, the major fire down there was started by a cigarette on the side of the freeway. Really? Yeah. Uh, off of the 91. Hmm. So, um, uh, you know, I, I didn't know. Be, uh, I don't know that they have a causation yet for uh, uh, the, the ones up in Northern California, but they're all over the place. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I, you know, it could just be a coincidence because it's October. I, I, my house, my, my last house, uh, was uh, right at the center of where the Oakland fire uh, started, yeah. uh, the Oakland Hills fire. I, uh, my house was on tunnel at the corner of Charing Cross, and that's where the, uh, uh, right out in the street is where that uh, fire captain uh, uh, died, uh, right out, uh, almost in front of my place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I bought the house uh, many years after the fire, and, uh, and right after the fire, somebody bought the lots, uh, put up a couple of foundations, and then uh, eventually built the house, and that's when I bought it. Wow. Uh, I had it 10 years and then uh, sold it, but um, uh, it was right in the middle of the firestorm, and when the, when the Oakland fire took place, I was a police reserve at the time, and uh, Richmond had a communications van. And we parked it at the top of Fish Ranch Road and uh, Grizzly Peak. And I spent four days, because so I lived in Orinda, and I was able to easily go back and forth uh, on my motorcycle, go up there and man that uh, communications van. Most of the uh, fire departments didn't weren't able to communicate with one another as they are today. So we had all the radios in, in this van. One fire department would call, and I would... Uh, uh, give the information to the to the next to the next one whoever they had to talk to yeah. so I, I relay that information and uh, n nowadays they have 800 trunking and a lot of other systems that will allow them to communicate with each other but uh, in uh, in the early 90s when I what was it 91 93 uh, when the uh, Oakland fire uh, took place uh, yeah I spent four days up there and I was able to jump on the back of a truck and look around. And you're right, just yeah. like uh, uh, you had said, that you got an opportunity kind of to be in the middle of it and, and see what was going on and help uh, people. Mike, Mike, you live in Northern California, right? Yes. Where? Yes. where? Sacramento. Okay, so you, you probably, are you getting smoke up there? Are you getting any of the smell of the uh -huh. smoke? Smoke? Oh, yeah. The clouds today just came in. All the smoke came in from the fires from Chico fires from Calaveras and a couple other fires we end up like in a big soup bowl smoke wow I can, I can still smell the smoke from here now because I was talking to bubbles today and did an interview with him which will be on tomorrow night I was going to run it tonight and then I heard from Damien and I said it'd be better to have Damien on to talk about the fire uh, and he said he was getting smoke in San Francisco yeah you know well, yeah. on the creek yeah I mean, and, uh, but, uh, Mike, you know, you want to cut back on the cigarettes because that smoke will give you, instead of two packs a day, it'll be like doing four, <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Is anybody yeah. else going to call us tonight? You know, we're not, we're not going to hear from Jeff because his mother died. Uh, yeah, I read that. And she was, yeah. was his mother or a, yeah, I, his mother. Yeah. His mother. 
Uh, she must have been pretty old because Jeff ain't no spring chicken. You know, I think she was like, uh, what do they, what do they you know, say? Something like, like in her late 80s. Well, uh, he's 70, you know. Yeah, but she, she probably had him young, you know. Mm. But late 80s, yeah. uh, maybe early 90s. Uh, yeah. And um, he wrote, read, wrote a thing, and then I forgot how old she was, because I don't remember anything these days. I thought he had an aunt that passed. No, uh, no, this was his mother. Uh, Oh, I didn't, and, and I and I said to myself, "What Jeff had his mother die? You know, you wouldn't think that Jeff, you know, uh, because of his age, would have a mother that just died, right? You would have thought the mother passed years ago, uh, and but no, you know, uh, his mother was still uh, still going strong. So he isn't going to call this week, and we've lost Rob, I think, because of baseball." Uh, mm -hmm. So he hasn't called. Tim is now Wait, called. Uh, there's no more Yankees in baseball. It's the I thought it was the uh, Dodgers, and um, I saw something on TV today where the Yankees were talking about going into more games for the division or something. Well, then maybe I'm not on the right division. There was uh, the Dodgers and the Astros. I mean, you're asking the wrong guy about sports. Oh, I, I, believe me, I don't know. Is I don't know. You know more about sports than I do. <laughs> Uh, well, I have the sports Emmy, but that's about as much as I know about sports. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, and I have the sports channel, but I've never watched it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know who uh, the Astros and the Dodgers, uh, what um, uh, what group they're with. I know there's an East and a West or um, something something to that I effect. don't understand. They, you know, it used to be you had a whole bunch of people play. And the last two that were left standing in either in either uh, uh, group, right, yeah. were yeah. Uh, were were the played the uh, the uh, in the in the World Series. Now it's playoffs for divisions in this part of the uh, country and that part of the country. And hello, Tony. Tony can probably tell us about the Yankees. Are they out? Or are they still in? We're still in. No thanks to our manager who had a stroke the game too. Tomorrow's wait a minute, wait a minute, he had a, wait a minute, 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 he had a stroke? Well, I was just, that was his stupidity, Alex. Oh, okay, challenged. okay, I thought you meant he had a real, honest to oh, goodness no, stroke. My mother had a stroke, so I didn't say that. She's like, why did he challenge you? Like, oh, because of the game? My mother's a Met fan, so. Oh. She hopes the Yankees lose. That's what she does. She hey, Alex, challenge. you know what it's like watching it, the, the playoffs? What? She likes it's to like, watch it. Like, it's, it's like playing Mets video poker. Here with 45 lines and try to decide yourself if you want anything. <laughs> <laughs> and evidently that uh, that shooter was the world's best video poker player. So. Uh, Pretty he weird. That. He, he claimed that. Somebody also said that uh, he uh, sometimes was into it for a million bucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. What do you think about the timeline changing and the fact that the cops the oh, wasn't there for they an hour. They didn't break into the room for an minutes. hour and ten minutes. I thought it was six minutes that the security guard was shot six minutes prior to the uh, right. shooter turning on the crowd. So all the media is asking for details from the hotel, the security people. Why did it take an hour and ten minutes to get the SWAT team up there? Because nobody else had equipment to go after somebody with that kind of firepower. Firepower. And what I mean, why is nobody why, why is nobody given an example that they had thousands of people carrying guns and not one of them the guns that are supposed to save their lives and no, not one leave, wait a minute leave, leave it to Tim to call shooter. and completely change the discussion to something with political implications. Well, no, oh. no, 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 no. We're talking about life and death now. Nobody in that crowd, including the off-duty cops, had guns. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear about the timeline change. But uh, by the way, uh, we've been joined by Rob, who is obviously on an iPhone. Uh, so turn yourself sideways so we get the wide view of you. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Got the view of your uh, hand. But, but we got a view of your hand now. There we <laughs> go. Good. You see? Do you hear that? He's got to be happy. He's yanked. Do I hear he what? Do I hear what? I, I hear it's still ringing here. It's still ringing. That? That's tinnitus. Hey, it's Rob, we're going to win tomorrow. Ringing? They clearly can't, they can't close anybody out. 
No. I'm not calling from, let me hang up and call you back because it's still ringing. Why aren't you just using? Why isn't he using the studio? I guess I. Because I'm not home. I'm in Orlando. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. Fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, I may have to run off to the bathroom in a moment. I'm having IBS tonight for the first yeah. time in a long time. Oh, we lose Tony? Oh, no, and, no, and, and, and for some reason, I'm losing the signal uh, going out. We're having trouble. Uh, this is really strange. I, I don't get it. This is yeah. one of those nights. Anyway, if, if you people are watching the video and you, you, uh, you have trouble staying online with it, which is uh, a, a distinct possibility. Uh, it, it's fine. Huh? It's fine. It's, it's delayed, but it's fine. It's steady where you are, huh? Yeah. And it's you've had it on constantly. Yeah, yes. you're fine. I can see it. Really, the video is fine. I guess yeah, I, yeah, you're perfect. I guess I'm That's just having a Facebook. I guess I'm just having trouble here for some reason. You know. Yeah. Need some bandwidth. No, but <laughs> yeah, right. But the, <laughs> but it looks fine. It's been smooth and it's been going well. Anyway, for you people out there who are having some problem if you're having it with the signal uh, on the Facebook feed. Uh, don't worry, because at midnight our time, you'll be able to watch it, uh, because I'll put it up. I, you know, I'm recording the show now, and I always put it up later on, so, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, here we go. Here comes Rob again. Well, okay. I don't understand why Trump hasn't come to Northern California yet to uh, well, survey the, uh, the sea. And no, he, no, he, no, he's sending Pence. He's sending Pence. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. You already said it's out already. Yeah. He's throwing packages of marshmallows to all the people. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trump is at a dog care center at the White House. That's what it's called now. Yeah. yeah. And you get some marshmallows. You get some marshmallows. Yeah. No sticks. Um, no sticks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you better now, Rob? Rob? Yeah, I just called to say, I just. I, can you hear me? Yeah. I have a bad connection in this hotel. I have a bad connection in this hotel. Yeah. I just called to say that I wasn't going to call tonight, cause, not because of the Yankees, because they're not playing tonight, but because I've been going since early this morning. And I'm quite, I'm at a conference in uh, Orlando, uh, in Disney. Oh, yeah. And I just got, yeah, I just got back, back from uh, a night at Universal. I'm going to uh, be over there in November. Was that? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Kirk, November it, 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 it doesn't always come down to you, Phil. I want to listen about what, what, what Rob is saying. Rob, I'm in Orlando. Oh, well, I happen to be going to Orlando in November. We don't give a shit, Phil. Yeah. So you, uh, uh, anyway, oh, it's, a trans, it, it's a transgender place. Is this one of your company we meetings don't. that you're, you're having down there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a sales conference. It's a sales conference. Oh. So I've been going. It's been death by PowerPoint since eight thirty this morning. No, oh, geez. And then uh, a night out at Universal, and so I have to pack and get ready because I got one more day of it tomorrow, and then I'm flying home tomorrow night. Oh, Hopefully, boy. I'll be home in time to watch the last game of the oh, series, yeah. and the Yankees will destroy. The, I think uh, we're gonna win. Uh, the I can't even think of the other team's name. I'm so exhausted. Cleveland. I was I'm laying here in bed and I listen to you I'm listening to you say we lost Rob the baseball but there's no baseball tonight tonight you just lost me to being exhausted the, I, the, I just the I'm PowerPoint presentations if you're on JetBlue I think you'll be able to watch the game uh, and uh, there's a check which plane you're on they some of them have Wi-Fi you can watch it I'm on, on American. Uh, Is that the one they beat everybody up on? Well, it's the newer planes have Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but the thing is, I don't know that I'll be able to get the game on Wi-Fi because it's blacked out on Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. And plus, I don't know that these planes have the kind of bandwidth that you can. Oh, you, you I, can, well, you got a short flight, right? Uh, I, it's I, two I, hours. Because the yeah. game, I think, starts like seven thirty. The game starts at 8:05. Oh, you know what? And I should be out of the plane by. I should be out of the. I, I should be my my flight's at 4:30. Uh, I should be, I should be in the airport by seven, and oh. then my I have a 90 minute drive from Reagan National to my house. Oh wow! So, yeah. You got, but then you can put the radio on. Driving, the I'm yeah. taking, 
I'm taking. Oh, oh, hey, by the way, before I go, do you want to hear a, cra- a crazy Uber story? So I live. I know I live in the mountains, and I live. You know where I live. I guess people haven't seen tolls or something. So I get this Uber driver to pick me up at like th- four fifteen in the morning mm-hmm. on Monday morning because I have a seven thirty flight and it's a ninety minute drive to the to, to Washington uh, Reagan Airport. Mm-hmm. And he says to me, "I've never been there before. Will we have to pay tolls?" And I went, "I don't know." So. We, we're driving, and he's bitching and worried that he's got to pay tolls. So we pull up. We get on this. They have this toll road, right? I had to take the toll road, and so there's a $5.50 toll to get on. This guy doesn't have an easy pass or anything, and I guess he's never seen a toll booth before because he pulls up and goes in to where it's easy pass only. Oh. So I'm kind of like dozing off because it's 3.30 in the morning, and I'm like, he says to me, now what do I do? Oh, now, this is the Uber driver. You should have just drove now yourself. what do I do? And I looked at, so I pick up my head because I, I was looking at my phone. And he said, I said, oh, you went to a, an easy pass. You don't have an easy pass? He said, no. And there's a truck behind me. And I'm like, They'll send them a bill. They'll send well, them a bill. no, because they, take a picture a gate, of the place, right? they have a uh, gate there. You no? can't even go through it. Oh. So now... He's wow. the truck must have figured out we were screwed, so the truck got it backed out of the way. Now he's backing up in traffic. Aye. It's raining outside. It's dark, and now he's got to go. He goes, which one do I go to? He had to go two lanes over to the right to go to one where he could put his credit card in. So we get to the credit card thing, and he says five fifty. That's crazy. I'm not I'm paying like, this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, to get so, out. Now, <laughs> so now I know yeah, this because. Now I know this because I've been on the toll road many times. When you get to 495 in in DC, which you got to take 495 to get to Reagan, there's another toll. Yeah, you got to pay to get off the toll road. This guy's name. He he saw that and he goes, "Oh, another right." That's exactly what I was calling him, Goober. (laughs) He said, "Another toll? How do you people live here?" (laughs) Then we get to the airport and he's telling me. You need to help me here because I'm driving. I don't know how to navigate around here. You're help me figure out where we have to go. I was like, really? So this is what's going on after I wake up at three o'clock in the morning to oh. get on a plane. That, this is my Uber driver. Don't yeah. they charge the tolls to your to your fare? Uh, what? Could they charge the toll to of your course, fare? Of course, my. Yeah, the fare was a hundred. The fare was a hundred and thirty bucks and seven dollars for t- tolls. Wow. Well, hey, you know what the sad part was? Rob got on that? the airplane and the pilot was his brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, how do you start the engine? I bet you would. Unbelievable! I just couldn't believe it. I mean, really, you 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 didn't know? I mean, there are signs everywhere: Easy Pass only, Easy Pass only, full service credit cards and cash and he pulls into an he pulls right up to the easy pass lane and stops dead now what do i do i'm like jeez yeah. well this you is know what you got i know i live in the mountains what are you gonna do yeah you know, the golden gate bridge here now is uh easy is fast pass only and if you don't have a fast pass it records your license plate and it sends you a, an, an invoice or a bill Right, right. Yeah, no, they have gates that come down, and that's it. Once the gate's down, you have to, you have yeah, to drive yeah, yeah. through but, a but, gate. But they, every lane is an easy pass lane. I mean, that's kind of... Uh, in uh, On the Golden Gate Bridge, there are no more toll takers. They're uh, doing that at the, Ver- the Verrazano in New York, same thing. Yeah. And they wonder why there's no job. The Verrazano Bridge? Yeah. I'm yeah, I just went through the Verrazano. They got rid of all the toll... Yeah. It's just you know, but the just, funny it's thing just like is, this thing that the funny thing is they uh, they didn't uh, the the traffic still backs up even though nobody has to stop and give any money uh, it's weird. it still backs up. Okay. How That's much weird. is the Golden Gate Bridge now, Phil? But uh, it depends on what time of the day it is. Uh, uh, I, off the top of my head, I don't know because I have a fast pass and it just sends a uh, you know just charges my card well, wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. it depends it's... on what time of day it is yeah, yeah that's the new thing now <laughs> yeah you pay more during yeah. rush hour 
Yeah, yeah. So the, the certain a, days of the week. Uh, the weekend is one price. The weekdays are another. Uh, high traffic times are one price. Uh, uh, I think it's it. I'm I'm guess I think it could be around ten dollars at some point at the high spot. Jesus. Uh, uh, We're living in a world of algorithms now. Crazy. Yeah, I'll look it up. Yeah, when, I, when, I, when I was a boy, it was twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents each way. Each way. I when think it's six seventy-five. It was six seventy-five. So I think. Yeah. Is that for, for the Bay, uh, Bay Bridge? No, the Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate. That's more expensive. Uh, the yeah. Bay Bridge. I don't. I. I, it's I just wanted thing. to call and say I'm alive, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. Well, we'll let you go. So, but, so, but you all have a good night. And we'll have we'll, a good trip. We'll, good see, we'll see after the Yankees lose and, tomorrow. And we thought the Yankees yeah, were dead. Yankees are going to lose. Okay. <laughs> anyway, take, take care, Rob. Yes, they are. <laughs> Bye-bye. 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 Pay, plate, play by, pay by plate is seven seventy five. Fast track, six seventy five. Yeah. Wow. Do you know if you've got uh, a, a semi-trailer truck, uh, it's $31? Yeah. Wow. Okay, listen, I, I need to go to the bathroom because I'm having stomach problems here. So I'll turn it over to Phil to host the show for the next right. five minutes while I uh, hit the can. How's yeah. that? Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Kev, you smelling any smoke? No, it's uh, hazy, but it's kind of going out to the coast and coming back in, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, now, I was talking to Alex earlier, and it seems as though... Whenever a disaster strikes, Alex always seems to have his uh, his claws in it. You know, uh, there, there were there were mudslides in San Francisco in in Sausalito. I got evacuated. I ended up on his sofa for three days uh, oh. because he lived in Sausalito at the time. Uh, and uh, then, of course, the earthquake. Uh, I, I stopped by his place during the earthquake to uh, to help him out. Uh, now, Tony, any disasters in Queens? Oh, uh, well, a couple of years ago we had a, a tornado, but my house was okay. But by the park, there was a lot of trees down. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, nothing really. And that was the big one for us. But we, you know, I didn't get affected by the one that destroyed Long Island. Now that might. Yeah. Be hey, Tim, uh, was it Trump's fault that we're having these fires in California? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Trump's going it's, after it's the, it's the kneelers. Hey, yeah, what we need yeah. is a pro- what we need is a professional sports team named the Anthems. Oh yeah, well, uh, who's the guy? They play flag Texas? football. <laughs> who's the guy from Texas that says if they if they need oh, Jerry Jones? Play? Yeah, uh, Trump likes him. Uh, now I, think they, I don't know why they're bending to it though. They make it more out of this than what it is. I think. Uh, well, you know, I felt. That if uh, you're going to have the national anthem as part of the game, uh, then you ought to respect it. And I understand that the rules that the NFL have is that you stand there during the national anthem, you put your hand over your heart, you hold your helmet, and your uh, I think the left hand or left uh, you know under your arm, and that is the rule. They also have rules about not celebrating in the end zone and, and things like that, and they've given people fines and so forth for breaking those rules. Now, hey, Phil, you know what would be, you know what would be patriotic? What's that? Is if the NFL didn't accept payment for, for playing the anthem or donated it to charity. That's what would be patriotic. Well, I, I, I don't you know, see any reason to have the anthem during the game. They shouldn't even tell about it. If, if, they, if they didn't have the, if the, if it wasn't part of the script, uh, then, you know, it, it wouldn't be an issue. But it is part of the script. And, uh, you know, until they change it, uh, it you know, I, I don't think that it's a good idea. But, but, they're doing it, but they're doing it for the government so they can avoid a draft. It's well, not then, because the NFL is patriotic. Yeah, the armed forces paid for that. That's why they're having all these army if days and everything reduce, else the last five or six years. they spend money on recruitment, oh, we have a draft by now. So, so it's advertising. Yeah, so, it's advertising. Yeah. It's advertising. So now if you, let's say, were a radio person. So they can't drink Alex. Pepsi if they're sponsored by Coke? Is that what you're saying? Well, Maybe. Uh, you see what the what the you know what the situation is. If it's uh, if they're paying for an advertisement, and then the people that they're paying 
are uh, not uh, doing what it is that they wanted them to do, you know, yeah, I agree. Don't take the money and don't don't have the anthem. Uh, but, um, you know, as long as they're going to take it and as long as it's part of the script, I always looked at it as if it was a play, that these guys are actors or um, uh, performers. And, you know, if you go to see a play. Yeah, but that's before the play starts, Phil. No, the play they, didn't start till they blow the whistle. So. No, but the anthem is part of the play according mm -hmm. to the rule book. Uh, well, I wouldn't consider it part of the play. It never was in the past. Well, you know, no. they didn't change the rule book once they got started getting paid. It only started what, at, the, at the early 2000s. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, but uh, you know, in, it, it was only recently that I went to some football games. <laughs> you know, uh, you're back, Alex. How do you feel? Uh, I'm not, nothing happened. I just felt like I had to. You know, that's my IBS yeah. act. Yeah. Well, very, we were talking sad. about the anthem and uh, uh, and the kneeling issues. Mm -hmm. uh, I had mentioned that I thought that uh, it, as long as it was part of the script. Uh, they should adhere to the script. You know, it's like if you go to a play and there's a first act, but somebody says, hey, I don't want to participate in the first act. I'm going to take a knee. That's, that's just not how the play works. But if the first act is objectionable, then have the writer write it out and, uh, you know, well, and get rid of it. I don't and, agree with you. Uh, no, uh, uh, well, because you said it. That's why no, I'm, of course. <laughs> uh, but, but uh, no, I disagree with you because this is a different situation altogether. This is not a play where you can look at the script and say, I either like this script or I don't like this script, right? Oh, that the anthem is part of the script. Well, the anthem is part of the script, but this isn't part of the script. This is a question of a, 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 a feeling that that... Uh, Pledge of Allegiance or that Star Spangled Banner or that flag doesn't represent you and represents a, uh, a, a oh, almost an item of terror to you. Uh, I thought and, it was and, a and I, I think I think that forcing people to stand for these national anthems, to to salute the flag, to do whatever, to say the Pledge of Allegiance is a horrible thing to ask people to do. It's well, a horrible I, I thing Tim, to ask them to do. I said to Tim, then they should take it out of the uh, out of the routine. That, that there are rules in their rule book for the national anthem. And Tim pointed out something I wasn't aware of yeah. that uh, that the army uh, or the or the military actually pays uh, the NFL uh, for uh, as a recruiting uh, service. Uh, the national anthem and all of these uh, uh, situations where they have uh, military uh, uh, come into the game. Is that right, Tim? That's my understanding, now, along with a lot of other lies that the recruiters used over the years to get uh, innocent, you know, um, naive young men into the military and mm -hmm. tell them something that it's not. I don't know how many people I've talked to that was promised, you know, training in certain uh, expert areas that they, they never got. You know, they get the bill. They get the, the, the go to college on the bill, but they didn't get the training and the credit. Even people back during World War II and early Korea, my father-in-law was a corpsman and was promised he'd get credit and they'd get him enrolled in the school uh, to, to be a physician's assistant yeah, and all that. Uh, but, but, no, but, uh, just a lot of empty promises. That's, so, uh, that's what you have to do when you don't have a draft. No, no, no but you're changing the subject again. Uh, you know, no, it was sort of related to the... Well, I mean... It, you know, they, they, they do the advertisements so they don't have to have a draft. They need to well, recruit all that I'm, one. All I'm yeah. saying is, I, number one, I've never liked the Pledge of Allegiance because it is questioning my allegiance by asking me to pledge my allegiance. Uh, it should be assumed that you have my allegiance, and I shouldn't be forced to pledge to it in order to prove to you that I have allegiance to my country. Secondly, right. uh, I consider the flag to be a totem. I consider it to be idolatry. Uh, I consider it to be something that anybody, listen, if you're a spy for the Russians or you're a spy for ISIS, okay, and you're about to blow up a, 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 a baseball game or something, right? Well, when they have the national anthem, you're going to stand so you don't look like there's anything wrong. It's easy to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or to put your hand over your heart or to salute or to sing the whatever. Uh, 
It, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. The harder thing is to live out the ideals of this country in a country that every day fights for you not to be able to live out those ideals. That, that's what's important. You're absolutely right. You know, and that is that is the true act of a patriot is somebody who, for instance, will kneel in spite of the fact that he may never be allowed to play a football game again in his life. You know, that takes real you, guts. You, you know what they did in the Philippines? They passed a law that if you don't sing the anthem enthusiastically enough, you can be arrested. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's also true in North Korea. So now we're becoming like North Korea. Not necessarily. They're not. Uh, no, they're you, they have, it's, it's, it's pure worship there. You know, it's, I, I've been tweeting for over a week that this is a form of idolatry. You, you thought about how could the Jews have that golden calf that they worshipped? Well, we have oh, quite a few golden calves, and I think the the flag and the anthem are, are golden calves, and it's idolatry. I think what they stand for is very important, but the object itself should not be worshipped. But the ideals and the principles, right, Alex? I don't know that the object is being worshipped. Matter of fact, the Supreme Court already said you can set it on fire, you can trample on it. Um, but no, no. But when the president is sends out an edict to tell the NFL, NFL who own the players, and that's kind of ironic too, to make him follow these rules, then then you all in the president's mind. It's the flag the, and the, the anthem. The, the, and refusal, the refusal to stand during the national anthem, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, right. is, is a form of protest. And that is protected right. by the Constitution of the United States. Absolutely. And, you, and you're not hurting anybody. And I don't you care know? if somebody owns your contract or not. They can't make you do something that goes against the, your constitutional rights. Yes, Tony. It's, uh, Tony. You know, this, you, this is what I really don't like either. It's like, because that Pence did that on purpose just to stage political theater on Sunday. He never had any intention of staying at the game. What I don't understand is... Wait a minute. What did Pence, I, I wasn't aware of this. What did Pence do? You know what Pence did, Alex? He went to the Colt game. He stood for the pledge of uh, the national anthem, and then he left. And then he put on his Twitter account, "I left the I left the game." I think he said, "I'm not exactly because if then it was the people who were protesting, if they don't protect the flag or honor the flag, then I can't be like present there. I can't say it word for word, but and it was all staged." This well, is what I'm the Forty-nine were kneeling. He left he also, corn dogs there and and uh, and a soda. You know, if uh, you know, if he had no intention of staying, he wouldn't have ordered those. No, but he wasn't going to stay. He, he had the. They said he had two hundred fifty thousand dollars doing it. But he, uh, here's the question: Trump I don't Trump 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 all, all, all I'm saying is, Phil, you can't say it's the same as a play where somebody's asked to act in a play. Listen, if you don't like the I, play or it has politics you don't agree with, you have the right not to take the job uh, at doing the play. Um, but, the, but the the fact is that when it comes to this this whole thing about the national anthem and and crap like that, this is this is protected freedom of this is the, protected the, speech. Can I say one thing? But anthem. this is protected speech, Phil. Yeah. Wait a minute. The, 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 hey, Alex, the to national this. anthem had been in there before any one of those players became a professional. Well, what is what, what is the national anthem doing being played at a fucking baseball it game anyway or football game. It beats me, but it's part of it. No, and I'd rather them no, not it's, disrespect it's not, it. it. I'd nobody, them not it's not it. written in stone that it's part yes, of it. it is. No, it yes, isn't. It is. Where? There, 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 there is in the NFL rule book uh, and I I, it's not I, in the rule book. I just looked. I don't think it is. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. I, Kevin, I, Kevin just no, said he looked the, at the rule book. The, the policies and guidelines. It's not in the rule book. Okay, policies and guidelines. Uh, whatever it is, they have a policy and guideline that says that they'll put mm -hmm. their hand over the heart, they'll put the helmet under the left uh, arm, and that they'll stand during the well, national anthem. Well, I think anthem. that's bullshit, that and I think that could be challenged in court, and you could win. Well, but look, you know what's funny? in my business, I have uh, I have a book called Policies no, no, and Procedures. No, 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 I don't care about laying fucking rugs, no, okay? Uh, but if you break the policy and procedure, that some of these things are fireable offenses. No, 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 no. Can no. I say one thing, though? Yeah. Like, for instance, this ESPN, this ESPN uh, uh, sportscaster, this woman, uh, yeah. uh, she wrote something on her Facebook page, and ESPN is 
put her on waivers for two weeks without pay because yeah. she went against their rule book that you shouldn't say things in social media. Well, I got news for you, ESPN. Again, you're violating her freedom of speech. You're violating... Ho hold on a second. You're, I don't care if they told her she had to. I don't care if they made a rule about it. It's against her constitutional rights. And you can't make somebody lose their constitutional rights because you wrote something in your rule book. But you and wrote it, and she was hired based on the fact that that was the agreement. You know, and the other thing... One other thing about Trump... Is he said what a lot of people wait wanted to say by calling them sons Ke of the Kevin team. had his hand up. No, hey, Kevin, wait a minute, hold on a second. Kevin had his okay, hand up. Kevin. Kevin. Go ahead, Tony. You've been trying to get on. Go ahead. I'm going to tell you my take on this whole thing, Phil, with Trump. And, and I'll tell you, Alex. You can look it up, Phil. Years ago, the USFL came into the league, and they had a separate league. Trump owned the New Jersey Generals. And I'm going to tell you something, Phil. Trump was not allowed to merge in the league. He... He sued the NFL, and Trump won one fucking dollar. Trump has a hard-on for the NFL because they never let him into his league. Let me tell you something. Trump is a motherfucker. He's trying to hurt their bottom line, and that's it. He has a hard-on for the NFL. Or Trump. Pete Rozelle told him, fuck you. Oh, wait, well, look, look, wait, are, are you telling me that you Before honestly Trump think, you, are, you, are you telling me that you, you honestly believe, Tony, that this president of the United States takes personal vendettas oh, and, and yeah. plays them no, out. No, no, oh. no. Well, I can't imagine I can't imagine somebody doing that. Before any of this came to light which um, Kaepernick, when Kaepernick first took a knee, he, they were losing they were losing people at the 49ers games. Uh, uh, they were losing revenue and they were losing uh, people attending the games. And now it has spread no. And, and it he is. He knows that the NFL teams are worth billions. No, of that's dollars. not why, Phil. Because that's what he's because about. The Niners have been losing for the last two years. They well, do not. They, I got season tickets. They don't draw. My, they don't my draw buddy, at all right now. My buddy said to me he had tickets and he wanted me to go to a game. It was during the week, I think, and uh, 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 so maybe it was Saturday. And I, you know, I said, I said when this thing first happened that I'd never go to another 49er game as long as Kaepernick still That's, that's your right. But you yeah, but, what, it, but just because you wouldn't, he does it, it, what what Kevin is saying is that he has Niners uh, season tickets, and yeah. that the the attendance to the Niners games before Kaepernick was go, was dropping yeah, precipitously. Well, it's it's gone it's gone even down even further. Uh, didn't they say that it was thirty one percent down? You know something uh, I, 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 I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Right. I can't imagine a true football fan, a true forty nine er fan, not going to a forty nine ers game because there's one guy on the team who won't uh, won't stand up well, to the pledge of allegiance. You know, I didn't, or the Star Spangled Banner. I didn't necessarily Band. agree with him going to the knee. But I accepted that he had the right to do it. Uh, I still question. stood up. But you know what? Ticket buyers he wants they to put lost. Alex, down, that's fine. I think. Trump wait, 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 hold on a second. Tim, Tim, really Tim's trying. Tim's something. trying to say something. Tim, I'm sorry. You know, you know the ticket buyers they probably lost with the the big corporate accounts that buy the big blocks of tickets mm -hmm. and use it and write it off their taxes and they're yep. big Trump supporters because of the big corporations. That's probably the tickets they lost. Wouldn't they have bought those at the beginning of the season? Possibly, it's possibly. But no, I think I think they have options to buy, and uh, and I think that might be part of it. But when you force people to give you allegiance, and, and Trump has other things he should be doing. This yeah, is he's working the NFL. time. But this is this is the beginning of fascism. When you force uh, people also, to show yeah, allegiance, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what you're also doing. You're 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 going to the uh, the uh, uh, if somebody is at a game and they do the pledge of allegiance and he like yeah. myself maybe doesn't want to stand for the Star Spangled Banner, yeah. okay, and I stay seated, I am going to be ostracized by those people around me. So because of group pressure, I will be forced to stand. Yeah. I don't like any situation where that happens. I don't like any situation that forces me to do something I don't feel like doing. Patrick ought you know, to here's, here's, here's proof that he has a vendetta. He, he he's got the NFL, NFL, NFL owners to agree to make their players stand. Yeah, he's got and to. The whole NFL 
And you know what? You know why? Because Trump threatened to take away their tax, their special tax breaks yep. that they get. How can he, right no, 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 wait, wait a minute. Hold, on, hold on a second. No, I got, I got news for you. I got news for you. I got news for you, Tim. I heard tonight on television. They lost those uh, those uh, tax breaks. Tax breaks a year, a couple of years ago. Mm. But, but, but they're still a mono- they're still allowed to be in a monopoly, though, right? Isn't that correct? What do you mean they're allowed to be a monopoly? How many teams are there? Well, there isn't a monopoly. You know, the NFL itself is a monopoly. Well, one of the few only- legalized yes. monopolies in the country. Well, mm-hmm. it, what it is is it's like Carpet One. You know, it's, it's a bunch of guys who got together and said we're going to join this one organization Absolutely. for the betterment of all of us. Yeah, I belong to a co-op. I, I, I posted a story about the Philippines putting people in prison if they don't sing it loud and, uh, you know, spirited. I put that on the Facebook. Yeah, can I ask you something, Alex? Yeah. You know what's funny with Trump and his whole thing, like the disrespect? There's nothing Don't funny about Obama Trump. Obama went to Congress. Remember, he used to go into Congress and they used to walk in, and the Republicans used to sit down and never stand. Where was the outrage? Where was the respect? Well, I mean, Trump was basically saying he was an illegal alien running for president. He is a fuckface. I'm telling you. Can I, I think he's a hypocrite. Well, he, uh, he's gotten to the he is a hypocrite. I mean, it, it's always about his money. That's it. You've got about this. Uh, you got this so all that is is White House is nothing more than a daycare center for adults. Well, no, that's you, it. No, you're parroting what the guy said, what the senator said. Talker. You, 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 you guys okay. have heard about the Washington Post story, haven't you? They interviewed 18 staffers at the White House. Trump every day is about ready to lose it, and if he doesn't let off steam, he's going to blow up like a pressure cooker. Really? He had. He, he, sh- he shut up about Corker for almost 48 hours and then blitzed it out this morning. The guy is mentally unstable, and everybody knows it, and Corker knows it. And oh, I, think the other he's mad. I think he's it's saying it. I think he's just a prick. That's you know what FEMA said to today to NBC? FEMA told NBC, NBC asked, why aren't you distributing these goods in Puerto Rico? Yeah. And FEMA says it's not our job to distribute the goods. The local governments, which half the people can't get to work, there is no infrastructure. It's not FEMA's job to get the supplies to the people. They're just supposed to get it off the dock. You know, the mayor, of the mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, I don't remember her name, but she was given uh, money to, uh, uh, to distribute the goods. And she said that she was going to use that. Uh, oh, and to clean the streets, they they needed to remove the debris from the streets right. so right. the trucks could oh. move. She said, "I'm not going to use the money for that. I'm going to use the money for the food, for the water, and for medicine. And uh, so, therefore, the stuff is not getting distributed." The governor of of Puerto Rico uh, came down on her and and uh, and said that she, he wasn't happy with the way that she was handling it so well, she's, I, I, she's, I, I, causing, she's not perfect absolutely no but she's causing this log jam uh that you're blaming uh, uh fema and trump well, for. i'm gonna i'm gonna blame just, I'm, just the one I'm, I'm gonna blame fema and trump for inaction down there i mean if if you consider pr- being proactive throwing six towels out to a crowd yeah like larry bird you know oh, paper nice towels oh you can dry up the true. whole island with these things because bounty is the quicker picker upper you know, I mean, I mean, uh, that. Know, that, that, I mean that was that was so. Everybody wanted presidential towels. Every in that day he does something that is just absolutely uh, embarrassing, an embar- You know, I, you want to know something? I'm not worried about Kim Jong Un. I think Kim Jong Un is much saner than Donald Trump is, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I think he has a game plan. He's trying to get people. Relevance. He's trying to get people to pay attention to him and to deal with him and to sit down and talk with him and try and get him to. So be, be a good guy. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. He's yeah. got an agenda. Trump is just fucking nuts. He's the guy who can push the button. Who, as Corker said, could tr- put us on the edge of World War Three just so. because of his own fucking ego. All so right. how did Trump that is the one to know because he's head of the foreign uh, foreign affairs committee. Right. How did that work? Kim Jong Un's uh, brother, uncle, ex girlfriend. I didn't uh, say he wasn't a murderer. I just said he wasn't crazy. Oh, okay. So, so he's not. He's a non-crazy murderer. He's a non-crazy <laughs> murderer. 
Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I would trust him with a nuclear device before I uh, uh, trust Trump. I'm worried about Trump with a nuclear device. Well, I, our allies can't trust America anymore. We, t- we, took, we, we built, spent decades building up our trust and our alliances, and he has t- totally trashed them all. Everyone, we've, just because he has to win an argument, he has to have the last word, and he's got to be worshipped. Tim, he, don't you want said. America first? Don't you want what's in America? No, not if no, we're going to be last. If you don't have alliances, Phil, we're going to be last. Yeah. Well, they're going to go on without us. They're never going to listen. Us. We'll have no street cred. We'll have no say in what goes on. Maybe we'll have and, a lot uh, more street cred because what we give away will be worth something. No, because when we jumped out of the TPP, the TPP, the Pacific Trade, we got out too soon. We should have leveraged it. Because China yeah. took over everything, and they're con- they're controlling all the trade over there. And we're going to be left out hey, uh, all alone. We never got in. Uh, to no, the- but we should have waited. No, we no, we backed out of it and said we're going to stop. We're not even going to go forward. We should have waited and stayed part of it and leveraged our power, so we had some say on what went on. And we just dropped it and got nothing for it. We should have gotten something out of that. Like, uh, you know, we just dropped we will out. Eventually, getting- if you negotiate, well, I don't think we will because China is too strong. China's running the whole, whole ball game now. So. Yeah, but they need our markets. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a two-way uh, I don't some, know. triangle it's, of trade. And without, they're developing a lot of other markets, too. So, uh, Yeah, so guys in Java are buying spears. Uh, but, uh, you know, if they really want to sell the, you know, the stuff that they sell, they've got to sell it in the American and European market. And, you yeah, know, but they're going to control the trade, and it's... We're going to pay. Oh, um, we get we get another case. We get another case. I'm 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 really worried about the, the I mean, Corker nailed it. You know, I mean, it is an adult daycare center, and there's a crisis every day. And the people who work there, uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to work for Trump. Would you? I mean, sure. You know, you know what, Alex? You don't know if you work for the White House, how long your job's going to be. Yeah, well, or if you work for him, when, 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 you'll have it, a job. I, I would yeah, love, to, exactly. I, I would I love know. to know what the longevity of people were in most cases at uh, the Trump organization before he was president. This is the kind of guy who would fire anybody on the spot who he felt wasn't loyal to him. I agree with that. See, that's the problem. And, and that's what I There's said. another problem, Phil, what? with the White House as it's being run now, with John Kelly controlling things yeah. and Mattis controlling things. We are in, we're in a, in a state of unconstitutionality because they have to control Trump, and they're not listening. They're not doing in everything America, he says. America, so Tim, no Tim, really Tim, control. Tim. We're in the uh, middle of uh, what they call a couch coup or whatever they call Tim, it. Tim, Tim, America is in the middle of being served up uh, politically a reality show. And yes, every absolutely. and the way he runs everything is like it's a reality show. Even down to him, every now and then using his famous catchphrase, "You're fired." You know, right. yeah. Like, what has he accomplished so far? Other nothing. Than just, like, nothing. He's fighting with people. Nothing. It, it's been plenty. Like uh, what? Yeah. Uh, and now it's family feud with him and Tillerson. The health care never got nothing. With him and Porter. Well, no, those 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 things uh, haven't been accomplished. But look at DACA. Now, he he is negotiating with the Democrats over DACA, and he said, "I want the wall." And I and I and I and I stupid he, he, He's never going to get. And he wants ne- a bunch of other stuff. If you want Phil, DACA, Phil, you do, do you, something. Let me ask you a question. You're not a stupid guy. I know you. You're not stupid. Okay, yeah. do you really want the wall? He, he does. Don't Hell try to no. justify it. Do you want the wall? At your coming out, coming out, coming, 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 <laughs> coming, no, uh, coming, no. coming scratch, out of no. your pocket and my pocket. Do you want that wall? Uh, no. You know who wants okay. the wall? Okay. <gasps> right. Exactly. Right. 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 No wall. Let me think going on on the vacation. And, right. Right. And, right. and the reason you don't want the wall is it's not going to do anything. Exactly. He's agreeing well, with you. Well, if, right. if the wall, uh, one of the, the some of the designs point. have incorporated solar. And he's <laughs> saying that. You can use that money for something else and still build that freaking wall. Just well, put hey, the wall you don't want, the White you, House, that'll be it. You don't want to augment the solar grid? 
You oh, know? Hey, oh, hey, hey, Phil, I, I agree oh, with you, shit. Phil, but if the money's better spent in Puerto Rico, who's going to be without power for 6 to 12 months? Well, they've been spending money for solar power. You know, there's, there. one, there's one great advantage right now in Puerto Rico. I, I know this sounds silly, but there is a bright side to this whole Puerto Rican deal, is that a lot of people have jumped in, a lot of people from Silicon Valley, people like Elon Absolutely. Musk and so on, who have said, as long as you don't have power anymore, and as long as the infrastructure for that power has been totally destroyed, let's rebuild it using modern technology. Exactly. Yeah, and They're and, and so they may come up with a, a, a plan for using electricity that has solar going for it and all kinds of other the best things. minds are on this, and you know their but grid. It, but it has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with Trump going no. out, reaching out to these people, and saying help. They have jumped in and said, "We think we can come in. We can help you get the power going again. We can use Musk, some of Musk's new uh, solar stuff, and so on. And we can yeah, uh, we can give you a more electric truck." 1906. In 1906, during the San Francisco earthquake, when San Francisco was decimated, you know who rebuilt the city? Was it the government? No, it was private business and private enterprise, just like uh, what's happening right now. In uh, fact, you know, the, out, out, though, the most was the Bank of Italy. You okay. know who the Bank of Italy was? Yeah, uh, 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 Bank of America. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, the guy opened up his safe the next day after the earthquake. Mm -hmm. Set up a stand and loan, will, money. loan money out to the but people. See, the point that I made is that it was done by private enterprise, not by government. Now, it's only been uh, the, you know, the last 20 or 30 years that the government has gone in when there's a hurricane or something like that and, 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 and rebuilt these areas. Why is it the government's responsibility? Why isn't this something for private enterprise to do like they did in San Francisco in 1906 and they are looks like they're doing in Puerto Rico now? Well, they're not doing it in Puerto Rico, but they are going in because they believe that they can help these people who they are in dire need and they want to do something good for somebody and they're right, willing to help them create a new grid based on very modern uh, right. electric principles, a lot of it being solar, a lot of it being wind, a lot of it being a lot of different things. Okay, now Trump is talking about forgiving their $70 billion debt. No, he's uh, not. He's talking about taking letting it go through court. No, he, he's talking, he's talking about, about forgiving it. He's talking no. about it. He backed off when Wall Street got all upset at him. Well, and you said, know, no, it needs to be settled in court. Exactly. exactly okay, so they settle in court. They bankrupt, and uh, then uh, the debt is forgiven, and then they rebuild the infrastructure because their infrastructure I got was a good so question. poor. I got a good question. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. are these people American citizens, and they can't vote in the presidential elections? Will you just tell me why? Territory. I don't give a shit if they were a territory. Like the they happen to be American citizens. Well, so is, so is uh, what, Samoa and a few other places. Did they well, get to vote? I don't know. They, 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 should be, uh, every they, should. they should be allowed you know. to vote. If you're an American citizen, you should be allowed to vote. Wasn't there a time that the Philippines was a territory? It was, yes, it was. Yeah. And, uh, they, you know, I mean, so these, they now, and they had voted on, on statehood. But the Puerto Rico had voted on statehood and voted it down. They, uh, they, you know, at least Catalonia wanted independence, but uh, but Puerto Rico also wanted independence. Well, how, they you, didn't how, want you, how you how you how you how you compare Catalonia, which I'm very familiar with, to Puerto yeah. Rico? They're in two entirely different situations. Well, look, you had you have uh, Catalonia that wants to separate from Spain. And, They've been uh, wanting to separate from Spain for, for the, 200, uh, 200 years. Uh, 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 for a long enough time that Franco used to put them in a very negative position. Yeah. Uh, because he, uh, he, didn't, he didn't like Catalonia. He tried to. Yeah. And well, when, you went, when I went to uh, Barcelona for the first time when Franco was still alive, yeah. uh, uh, that was the saddest town you've ever been in in your life. I mean, it was just horrible. And I went back years later for the Olympics saying, eh, you know, Barcelona, just a dumpy town. They had completely it. cleaned it up, and it's a beautiful town now. But, well, I mean, they, but, but, but there's always been a tradition of the government being against Catalonia having its own independence. But Puerto, Rico, Puerto Rico voted down statehood. That's why they don't vote. If they were a state, they would vote. 
they would have a star on the flag and they would vote, but they voted it down. They had an opportunity. They've had a couple of opportunities. I don't think they had an opportunity. They voted on whether they should become a state, but still it would be up to the, to the Congress to decide whether they're a state or not. Statehood is not determined by the people there. I think it was more a vote of shall we go for statehood and ask well, for it. They, they, then Congress never had to make a decision because the uh, Puerto Rico voted against statehood. Alex, is it Catalonia, uh, Catal whatever? Catalonia. Catalonia. Well, it's ca actually it's Catalunya, Catalunya actually. Ca yeah. Catalunya. Is that the northern part of Spain? It's, it's in northern. France? It's in northern Spain. Uh, it's uh, Barcelona is part of Catalonia, and and one of the most beautiful areas in the world. Yeah, yeah, beautiful city. Just well, isn't there somewhere else up north towards? However, don't uh, if you have a, if you're a woman, don't take your purse out in the street because yeah. they're they steal your purse. But that's well, they, all. And, and they wrong. run you down now. And the uh, what's that uh, place that you walk? Uh, uh, not revolution. Oh, oh, oh um, you're talking about the uh, the uh, Rambles. Rambles, yeah. Which means ramble. Uh, which is I should yeah. just change the name <laughs> of the show to, the, the to show. Los Rambles. Yeah. Uh, we've been joined by uh, by uh, Renee Collins, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she of the and elephant and soon to be just the person. So you you failed to remember the fact that during the Obama during President Obama's term that Puerto Rico voted to be a state and they weren't allowed to become a state. But then this last this last election, they didn't want to give a shit about us and they don't want anything to do with us, so they voted against us and they fucking should. They should run so fast to Canada it should make their head spin. So they'll they become should. state of Canada? Why not? The they, we're not doing it good. Rico. They got killed. No, we're not doing them any good. We've had the Davis effect, uh, the rules in there. Why should Puerto Rico stay with us? Why shouldn't Puerto Rico become part of Canada or part of Germany even? Because why they suck at our tits. No, they, they don't. We actually have so many rules against those people just to keep them in the in the hell that they currently are. It, we're not doing anything for them. Why would they want to join us? There's you know what no expired reason. today? What they do you know what expired gamble. today? What? The, Jones, oh. the Jones Act Jones. Uh, oh. exemption. Yeah, oh, the and they're going to double the cost of shipments to Puerto Rico again. Everything, everything. <laughs> they pays for that. The U.S. government. They did no, for ten days. It expired today. It's an. It's, it's didn't a, didn't uh, something else expired today too? Didn't something about a health thing for kids? Ex the, yeah, Hillary's health care yeah. plan. Congratulations. Hillary got health care for children as part of her deal with when Bill was president. Nobody gives her credit for it. Children have had for decades now health insurance in every state called CHIP, and, and, Look, and they let it expire. And, and you're talking I, about I, kids that will die if they don't get medication. So I, I think of it this way. If Phil's people didn't give a flying shit about those poor children massacred in Sandy Hook, why should we give a shit about the people that were slaughtered in, in Vegas? Are you kidding me? No, I am serious. Yeah, if those that, people wanted to ban guns so that those kids weren't just wiped out off the face of this earth, nobody, why would I care about those people in Vegas? Nobody no. in that concert did anything to deserve to die. Nobody, nobody going to school in Sandy Hook did. Well, I think I know what she may be aiming die. at. It was a country audience, and I yep. would say that if you were to take a poll among my country audience without the gunfire going off, how they felt about the Second Amendment, they would be for everybody being able to have guns. I would say the vast majority of that country audience would come up yeah. with that. And, and, so and that, being, that, that, that being the case, no, let me finish what I'm saying, Renee. Sure, that I'm being sorry. the case, uh, uh, part, part of the reason what happened happened was because of them, all right? Yeah. The guy went postal. The guy yeah. was, no, no, we no, for, forget about what the guy and did. That, Two is the Country Music Wards Association or whatever the fuck they're called. They've been in bed with the NRA for years. It, so this reason? guy, this guy did all of the things that you wanted him to do, except for he slaughtered your people. And so now you're upset, but you really didn't give a shit about the kids in Sandy Hook. You didn't give a shit about the gays in Orlando. You didn't give a crap about any of the rest it, of them. It, it, you know why Sandy Hook happened? It happened because you had a kid that was on uh, uh, meds, and, and he was fucked up. He was, how old was he? Those shooters, whether how old was he? 
Huh? How old was he? He's a kid. He was 18. Or he was, that does not, he's legal age. He's not a kid. He's a young man at this well, particular let me point. Tell you this. And he was We're mentally talking. ill. Right. And he didn't have a right to have that gun. But your people said that he did and have a right to have that gun. So that, that shooter... law that you didn't zip up is now exactly the law that's Renee, coming down on, on this. Renee, you don't Vegas. think that the shooter in Las Vegas was mentally ill? No. I, I think he's actually... Oh. I think this was so methodical. It was. It's going to come out that down to his trajectories that every one of these things were planned. Not only that, they're going back to every hotel that has a view of an outdoor venue and looking to see if this guy was checked in for every event. And my guess, he's only checked in for the country events, and he didn't check in for no, any of the. No, no, he, he, he checked. He, 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 he made arrangements for the. Uh, uh, what, what's but he that, never went. What's that festival? Of all the uh, the one in Chicago. One in Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. And the Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. He eight thousand. He didn't people. go. Yeah. So you know, that means that it, so it's either a lost leader or and he did it on purpose and he's just trying to prove how fucking smart he actually was. But the point that he chose a country music people, the people that are in bed with the NRA. I don't exactly think. I don't think let me let me, let me say this. Let me say this, Renee. I think you're wrong yeah. there. I think you're wrong because I don't think he consciously had a political agenda in any of this. And so, therefore, would not target the country people simply because of their own personal agenda. It, it was a rapper concert that he had made reservations. He didn't at go to. Yeah. He uh, didn't go. He didn't go. He, uh, he needs, he needs they, they're going to look at every hotel in Las Vegas to see everybody that had an outdoor event that he would be able to sit in a room and take shots at. That means he's got to go to like five or six other hotels in Las Vegas and check it out whether he booked a reservation and whether he showed up for a reservation. He picked those people for a reason. Yeah. That's not funny, Phil. That's <laughs> yeah, not, not funny. funny. Not funny at all. Wow, somebody died. Yeah, that was not us folks doing yeah, that. That was that was, just, that, was our, okay. that was Phil. It's okay, Tony. There were just little kids that died the other yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, 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 Brian. 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 Turn on your yeah, turn on your microphone, Brian. Said, turn it on. Then you think he might have had a back to grind, like she said that that uh, he slipped in the hotel. He sued the hotel. They're finding that yeah. out, and he was a nutcase, and he was on some sort of... Uh, yeah, see, that's uh, how they're going to write it up. So what the sort of is actually doing, they're actually, they're willing to up those butt stock things or bump stock things or whatever the hell it's called, I, well, because those things don't kill anybody, no. right? Just like the guns well, don't kill anybody. They're, so they're, they're willing to sweep that they, underneath they, the they, they, Hold the on a second, hold on a second. Brian's having some problems. You having problems, Brian? You can't, uh, can you hear us? We can't hear you. No, no, you're muted. You're muted. No, you're yeah, muted. Still, uh, say your really long cocksucker fucker you, thing you, and see if we. You can might hear. go into your uh, into your settings in Skype and see if make or sure that Skype. you know that you're set for your microphone to be picking. There is right there is no gun. There's very little, if not any, gun legislation that's going to come out of this, and that's exactly how the NRA wants it, and that's exactly yeah. how the people attending well, that. What this was, Renee, was the loophole was that it was a part. And because it wasn't uh, uh, on the gun, that's no, how no, they no, get no, away no, with it. No, let's not get into no, that. We know order. that, Phil. We know all that. We know yeah. that it's, it's a excuse. It's flat out. All I'm, saying, all, all I'm saying is what, uh, what she said is correct. With all the hue and cry and with something like this happening, every time it happens, everybody moans, everybody cries, everybody wails, Except and then not. nothing fucking happens. And so the right. next thing happens, and then they all moan and they all wail, and nothing happens right. again. And it, 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 it's ju it's predictable that we are going to have another major, major gun event gun. like this, and Some we're also feedback. we're also uh, uh, assured of the fact that. Uh, that uh, once again people are going to become very complacent about getting anything done about it and it's just a shame it's just can you a hear shame now? yes I, we can hear yes. you Brian okay the point I wanted to make yeah. uh, as much as as, as much uh, to the left as I, as I, as I tend to be uh, that argument that, that, uh, that went between Phil and Renee at first when I first logged on by your logic, Renee, by your stated, by what, by what you stated, then a methodical, articulate planner cannot be 
a mentally ill person then, right? No, I didn't say that. So I he, said he all is mentally things Ill. that he is showing, it, he's, he was trying to prove a point that he's smart. One is he's trying to prove a point that he's smarter than the cops. That doesn't and mean he's not mentally ill. True, but I'm not willing to allow him to use that as an excuse. Uh, the alpha in your world do that because if he was mentally ill and you guys reacted the proper way to Sandy Hook, he wouldn't have had the fucking gun. That's not true. Because the guns that no, because we would have said you had to take. Yeah, yeah, hold, 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 on hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're going. We're going in this uh, circular firing squad again when it comes to this discussion. Want to sound I, effect? No, because hey, I know. Because I, I know what you're going to say, Phil, and I know what Renee's going to say. I know what I'm going to say. I know can what, I say something? Yeah, uh, but I don't know what Tony's going to say. He, yes, Tony. I want to ask you this, Alex. Can he be crazy but also brilliant at the same time? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Look, look at Trump. Uh, look at him. Oh, I hate no, Trump. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One I, more excuse note. me. Did you? Trump isn't brilliant. Uh, excuse yeah. me. He's going to match IQs with uh, the Secretary of State. Yeah, yeah I, I'd love oh, to see that you. one. Yes, uh, 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 your name. So it's been lost. Did any of you read the names and the the states or the countries that the people the the forty nine or fifty nine dead in in Las Vegas? Did you read the entire list? Where yeah. they said it on. Did the you all know that there's at least four to five people from Canada that were wiped off the face of this planet because of our insane fucking laws? And do you know that 86, 68 million Americans are in the service industry? And when Canada gets a hold of all of this and says, why the hell would we go spend tourist money in the United States when you could just die going to a concert? So we've got all of the main travel agents, travel states against us. Now we're going to have, when we have Mexico against us, we have Canada now for good reason against us. We're just going down the list and knocking off our allies. There's really, it's just going to be just like Tim and, and, and Kevin said, it's going to be us against the planet. Well, you know, it's, there's, exactly one of, there's one other, there's one other thing to think about here. And that is that we have been in, appalled in the last year or so with the kinds of incidents that have been going on with terrorists in Europe. And yet this guy uh-huh. managed to do an act of terror that almost paled in comparison. Yeah. It made those other ones pale exactly. by comparison. Bec- and, and it was one of our own, homegrown in our own backyard. So what, because he's a white guy. And, and because he, because he, he, was, well, able, he was able to get the, the methods of his uh, own... Uh, uh, d- uh, in terms of destruction, as it were. I so why is he called facial terrorist? expression, Phil. It looks like you swallowed a boatload of bitter gum there when uh, he, <laughs> Alex made the uh, uh, white guy remark. Fess up, Phil. Yeah, well, I, I'm just tired Your guys of are as uh, much all as white guys. guys. Yeah, brown guys. Right. White guilt. So, you know, no, this no, elitist, this left, list, left Bill. Left Bill. Left Bill. elitist white That's, guilt. No, no, no. Go down just the list, Phil. You know. Sandy Hook, it was a white guy. Orlando, it was a guy, but he wasn't what exactly. What about the guy in Washington, D.C. that hid in his this trunk? Guy, Vegas, he's a white guy. Guy. Well, hey, what a, guy. Hold, 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 hold it, Renee. Donnelly Muhammad. What yes. exactly do you want to say? Not the black guy. D.C. sniper. Guy? Yeah, the, but the D.C. Yeah, sniper, why? how many did he kill? Uh, yeah. 30, I think. No, no, was it that? No. DC sniper? No, yeah, it wasn't. Was it 30? No, it was not. I don't think it was It was more than three. Well, yeah. I don't think it was quite as much as 30, but I mean, yeah. it, I see your okay. point, Phil. What I was saying is uh, white guys are, can be just as much as fuckwads as brown skin dudes. And, uh, you know, and oh, all no. colors of the rainbow, it doesn't pass. I'm just tired of them getting singled out when it's but, bullshit. Then stop fucking shooting people. Well, hey, no, this, this guy, people. this guy was white. What color was uh, what color was Timothy McVeigh? He was white. Timothy McVeigh. He, so he's the guy with Timothy McVeigh. He was white. also a white what nationalist. Color was the guy white. What was the guy at California 101? White. We can keep going on and on, but you need to face the facts that these well, either guns have to come off the street. Ted Kaczynski. Look like you. Ted Kaczynski. Use a hammer. What? Uh, who was the guy that used the hammer? That Stanford uh, uh, guy who uh, he took a hammer to his professors. Uh, I think his name was, was Maxwell. Hmm? No, uh, nothing. It's just a joke. That Gazensi was the yeah. Unibon. So, no. Phil, the idea, uh, so if you just looked at that, what would you like to do? Would you like to remove all the guns from all the white men, or would you like to set it up so that people... No, the white men would need the guns if there weren't guns. people like you arming the bad guys. 
Right, I, because I go out and buy the guns. The bad guys are the ones I that have guns. guns. Yeah, and a lot of those bad guys are white guys. If that security guard had a gun, maybe he could have protected himself instead of taking a bullet. I mean, at least, at least, at least the people of color are single purpose because Biggie and Tupac were only shot by two separate guys once. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, 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 so Whitman, think, remember that know, guy that was up in the tower in Texas years ago? Yeah, Texas. He was, uh, he, 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 was he, was he, he was he was literally he was literally he was literally a um, the leader of this whole movement was the guy in the tower in, uh, uh, in Texas, in, in oh, Texas, Texas in the 1963. Yeah, or Whitman. And he was a white Whitman. guy. So, Phil, what's your answer? Well, my answer is you're you're a bigot. That's what my answer is. You're a I'm big a bigot. For a bigot. I'm a bigot for not for if I had a kid and that kid was killed in grade school yeah, in the school a guy because of the color of his skin. If I didn't no, have it, I'm a, blaming uh, him because he's a fucking guy, and you want to have a fight about whether or not he's white. Man, that that all of a sudden it's your it's your shit, hey, Bill. Hey, you hey, need hey, to own. Hey, yeah, it's hey, all hey, shit. But what, Quit no. using the uh, the Trump punch back te- technique because you don't oh, punch back yes. hard enough. I got I get an NRA alert real quick. Yeah. <laughs> the, some of the higher level NRA officers have been meeting in Russia. In fact, oh. one meeting took place. Where did you too, get that? Not too long before. What's that? Where did you get that yeah. information? He said it's a bullet. Uh, Daily Beast. I just posted it to Facebook. Are you oh. kidding? Pete Dominic is Daily Beast. on his show. Washington in Post Russia. has that too. But uh, right before they donated thirty million dollars to get Trump elected, they've been they've been in cahoots with the Right to Bear Arms group in in Russia. But it was okay for Obama to go over to France and get uh, what's his name false elected. False equivalencies. No, not a false equivalent. It is. I'm you just know, saying. Uh, Obama interfered well, that, in that, 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 I don't care about that because I'm talking well, about the NRA the and the guy. money that's funneled in. Um, possibly from Russia. And I put it a pox on both houses, Phil. You know damn well I do. Yeah. Well, it so doesn't do I, make it. I am so happy. So because Obama didn't, that it, everybody can do it. Oh, well, he look, did it. I can do it too. Me as and far you, as I, can do. Sir, I hope that Trump goes in and blows up the Republican Party and that, you know, already the Democratic Party is uh, is imploding. All right. I hope that I hope that Trump right. just takes Trump them all me. down. And yeah, I, I, I okay. I, let's let's change subjects here. Okay. It's a. It's because, all us. Because it's it, us. because you know it, 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 Phil does monopolize about fifty percent of the discussion here. Because I'm the hated one. Well, <laughs> no, no, but but you also just jump in a lot. Uh, the world you live in, very. Few let's of talk us. about. We can choose to live oh, in that can world. I, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I please bring bring as the leader of the group? Can I bring up something else here? Uh, yeah. I think where the re- Democrats have looked very bad in the last couple of days has been their reaction to Harvey Weinstein. Let me finish, yeah, Tim. Let me finish, fun. Tim. Uh, I find it rather unbelievable that Meryl Streep, who was a Holly- was Hollywood royalty, didn't know what was going on with Harvey. The fact yeah, of the matter I is, I, my friend uh, Richard Sheckman, who I talked to today, Shecky, said that he's known for years, and he isn't even in Hollywood. That this yeah. was like one so of the most talked it. about. Uh, what it's, Seth MacFarlane at the uh, Oscar nominations, when he read off the list of the women for Best Actress, said, well, those are five women who aren't going to have to... Uh, think uh, Harvey Weinstein is good looking, or something like that, to that extent. Oh, right. yeah. Uh, yeah, they they, they missed the boat on this. Yeah, 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 no, but what I'm saying is, they all these guys like Schumer and and so on, all turned their money that they got from Harvey, which I'm sure Jill they Stein. didn't they didn't it wasn't that much. They didn't yeah. take all that money and give it, it back. Said they were going to give it to to charity or whatever. Why? How much? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Clinton, didn't she get two million dollars from Weinstein? Weinstein, it, yeah. bund- yes, bundled money. yes, but Compared bundled money. What Roger Ailes has done for Fox? No, wait a minute. Wait, 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 let's not talk Roger Ailes. We're talking Weinstein now, and we're no, talking, we're talking about, about that. We're talking about the Democratic response 
to this man. whole thing. Like, well, we're giving the money back because we don't like what he no, did. Should be talking about the duopoly. Uh, you know, did, did you notice that uh, everybody, Trump, the, everybody, the and women all too. these people in Hollywood knew for years what Weinstein was doing. Do you know? And this, this I get from good authority. Okay, why the New York Times decided to publish that article and where they got the material from? Bob Weinstein, his brother. It's a Cain and Abel situation, and he wanted he wanted to see Harvey out of uh, Weinstein comp the Weinstein company, so he could get the whole thing. Yeah, according to NPR, they floated, the New York Times floated this story, I think they said about four, maybe five years ago, and and it got buried at the NYPD so that they it all just died. So this is the second reassert. Because, re because oh, according to the sources sure I have, Bob Weinstein went to the Times and gave him okay. all the information. Okay. Maybe he was just disgusted. Did yeah. you hear that? No, I don't think he. I don't think he was disgusted. I think he he was disgusted that Harvey was getting all the uh, all the attention, and very few people even knew who Bob Weinstein was. Do you know that they have legal responsibility, and uh, even the board of directors? Yes, we know board, that, Phil. We design. know that, Phil. We know that, Phil. Okay. Did, did yeah. you hear? Did you hear the recording? No. Oh. It's gross. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. That was that was pretty ugly. Yeah, but it, 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 I heard it, it, the, they dropped the charges yeah. from that recording. They never they, ne they didn't follow through with the charges. I heard Weinstein Weinstein made some donations to the prosecutor. I thought they said Cyrus Vance. I could be wrong. It was but, so gross. It was. That, it was. Uh, there was some donations. No, this was just. Oh, this there. was in two thousand. This was in two thousand fifteen, I think. So it wasn't yeah, Cyrus. It was right there. It was nasty. Just, just to hear the way he was manipulating well, no, her. But, 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 it but, was yeah. so well, sick. I, I, we can go into all of that, but it serves no real purpose. Okay. What I'm trying okay. to say here is, I I found it uh, entirely hypocritical that, for instance, Meryl Streep, Judy Dench. Which, uh, yeah, uh, people, I, I people, you see, you've got to realize Angelina when they Jolie. won that, when they, uh, Angelina Jolie, when these people won their Academy Awards, they, they won, will that. you let Thank me you. finish, please, Renee, when they won these Academy Awards, they won these Academy Awards because Harvey Weinstein paid a lot of money for promotion and publicity to get them elected to being best actress, Okay. Harvey was famous for this. He knew how to do the politics of Hollywood in order to get his pictures nominated and his actresses um, uh, 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 win Academy Awards. These were Oscar winners who owe their Oscars to Harvey. And then they turn on him by going, we didn't know this was going on. You fucking knew, Meryl, that it was going on. Everybody in Hollywood knew it was going on. There was no big secret. The guys over TMZ, I was watching them the other day, said, we've known this for years. So don't, don't suddenly say, gee, I was surprised when I found out. That may be the best acting job that Meryl Streep's ever done. <laughs> she hasn't been doing a long time. Right. If, if, if he had an AK-47, he would be your total package. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is is that I find it hypocritical of these people to suddenly be appalled by all of this, to suddenly give back the money because they didn't know this was going on. You, if you lived in Hollywood and you mentioned Harvey Weinstein, you go, oh, that horn dog who pulls his dick out in front of everybody. Yeah. They, oh they just God. knew it. Everybody knew it. This isn't a new story to most people in Hollywood. People so in you're calling bullshit on the women that didn't call them I'm out? I'm calling bullshit, I, I'm I'm calling bullshit on these liberals who suddenly become so outraged at this when they were willing to take the money even when the rumors were running rampant that he was a horn dog. Yep. And she did a bad All Trump. while they shit on true progressives. And, and now they're trying to get rid of the money because they don't want to have that stank uh, associated with them. And that's the hypocrisy of liberals. Okay? Yeah, they, you're right. They should, they should have spoke about this a yeah, while ago. And you got to remember, in this case, it's not some right-wing guy. This is yeah. Mr. Liberal. This is a guy who gave tons of money to liberal causes. I mean, the good part about oh, Harvey no. Weinstein... Not Gave a lot of money to liberal causes, to liberal candidates, and so on. He gave money to women's groups. He was, he, in a lot of ways, there was a lot of good about Harvey Weinstein. The fact is, he had this horrible peccadillo 
which came back to bite him in the ass as well it should have. Yes, Brian? <laughs> it just reminds me of the uh, when, when we all lost uh, an actor, Corey Haim, yeah. who made the claims yeah. to his good friend Corey Feldman that there's uh, rampant pedophilia going on in the uh, Tinseltown. And, uh, you know, you, you, there's all well, kinds of shit. Today I saw my friend Rob Schneider being interviewed by TMZ, and he said he went out on a job <laughs> once where this guy was in his bathrobe and wanted him to crawl on his knees up to his crotch. And he just turned around and said, that's it, see you later, and walked out. But he said, that happens to guys all the time in Hollywood, too. Oh, was he an executive or something? He yes, he, they said he said yeah. he was a major motion picture producer who, if I said his name, you would all know who I meant. I, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm not Neither surprised not. that That's men terrible. are taking this kind of a hit, too. It's not just men, though, Renee. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying I'm not surprised that the it's women... Out. We we know that the women were getting stepped on. Now we know that the men are getting stepped on, too. This was nothing more so than a casting couch. amount of women, I'll give you that. That's the effect, the couch. But it's the casting couch. The power and the unwillingness to relinquish it. The casting yeah. couch has been around for uh, since the beginning of film. And and maybe since the beginning of time, and, and that's the well maybe it maybe continue. maybe this will stop make it come to a screaming halt. I doubt it. No, I think there are a lot of They'll people out there releases. not willing, we not willing. 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 Willing. There there are a lot of people out there who may have been involved in that kind of behavior. Who won't do it any longer because they don't want to caught be caught in the middle of it because the he heaviest of the heavies, Harvey Weinstein was yeah. taken down by it, and if he could be taken yeah. down by it, your little ass could be taken down by it with very little work. You know? From your lips to everybody's... I still can't get over the Natalie Wood thing. You said Kirk Douglas. I was upset about that. Yeah, well, you know, that's the way... That's the way it and didn't you say that she got taken advantage of by uh, Nicholas Ray, too? Oh, s speaking of the pedophilia shit, um, did you see that... Uh, uh, the guy from Penn State's son is in jail now for pet for uh, Sandusky. Oh, Sandusky. 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 Sandusky number two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wasn't Sandusky number one and a Sandusky number two. Yes. Wasn't he a was he a victim? Do you think too or no? I wouldn't be surprised you if he was a victim. Dad did him. Oh, Tim, oh, that's. Oh, I hate to think about it. Oh, gross! That I heard he did. <laughs> Well, I don't mean with his dad. I mean <laughs> with his dad. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, because that was disgusting. What did you, you say, Tim? Not with his dad, but what? With uh, people that associated with his dad, possibly. Or just being around his dad would have been abuse just to have to live with his dad. That's abuse. So are you talking dad. about like some kind of sex ring or something? But he, he hid this uh, proclivity for it a long time. It could be just time. physical and verbal abuse, too. Yeah. Imagine mental. Jerry Sandusky hit it from the university. Hit it from just about everybody. Yeah, what's uh, his name? You know, knew. Except some of the. I think Paterno knew. Yeah, yeah Paterno knew. Oh, and sure that's why Paterno. And you and and Paterno, I have to admit, I'm I'm not a fan, but he was a really good coach. But he was taken oh, down no. by Sandusky. He, 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 yeah, he he was taken down by somebody else who he just didn't. Uh, he didn't rope in. If he had roped him in or had yeah, made an attempt, attempt to stop him, to you know, he would he would have been okay. I thought he took it to the university, and the university uh, fell on deaf ears. Well, I, you, believe, I think somebody in the university did look the other way. But it wasn't Paterno. <laughs> Well, it no. was not his boss. Look, where his college sports, where college sports are concerned, all bets are off. Okay, uh, because well, if, it, 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 they'll defend a, a great player, uh, you know, uh, just because uh, they want to make the money. That's a big money maker for these colleges and universities. Yeah, he deals Rice, with the shoe yeah. contracts. Ray Rice, they defended him. Huh? And suck. Ray Rice, they defended him. They were all yeah, on his. They had him on video punching that girl out. Both. Yeah. No, no, no it God was the that. girl. It was somebody he loved. He loved too. Did you see that other guy step on his girlfriend's dog? There was a little Yorkshire Terrier or something, and one of the some football player actually crushed the dog. <gasps> yeah. Did you see that? Uh, no, I don't want to either. Yeah. Well, anyway, all I'm saying is that we're... Fire him. 
Well, Harvey Weinstein is concerned. I'm, I'm really ashamed of the Democrats. And I think any of them who said we're giving the money back, we're just being just trying to be. Uh, no, they're trying to show like they're so they're holy. trying to show like they're yeah, appalled. The you know, no, keep, you about. took the money, Working keep it, shaft. keep it, use it to go get do what it was intended for, because the money isn't tainted. You know, the money isn't tainted. It's the person who's tainted. Yeah, just that's don't a good point. Yeah. don't have anything to well, do with this she, she trick right ever thing. again. But you know. yeah, but the problem is, is he was part of the whole Weinstein thing, so you really put a taint on the house. Yeah, but she could have did like Alex said, stood up. She won all these awards. She didn't need this guy at this stage. Yeah, yeah she didn't need this guy. She should have stood up. Did I, I, I did everything. She was <clears throat> By the way, and loud, mu loud, loud, loud music, but at least it was loud enough so you should be able to hear it and know that uh, we've run out of time here. I want to thank uh, uh, Mike, and I want to thank Tim, and I want to thank Kevin, and I want to thank Brian, and I want to thank Phil, and I want to thank Anthony, and I want to thank Renee. It's, it been, it's been real nice, and I wish all of you a happy evening and hope you'll be here again tomorrow night. And also, uh, Rob Alfano had to leave us. Meanwhile, all of you, why don't you give a big wave goodbye to all the people out there. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizens panel for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, uh, you will uh, come back again tomorrow night for more of this same thing. Uh, yes, I know the people watching on TV say, what, what is he doing? Well, I have, I have things I have to do, like I have to turn off my, uh, uh, my, uh, yeah, my Skype and make sure that's off and... Everything's ready to go for the next show, which is the intersection with Jack and Amy. And then at uh, 1 o'clock this morning, by delay, it'll be uh, Connections coming out of Florida. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.